Hello friends, uh, how are you guys doing? And my name is Tufsheng, I am an uh, international medical graduate from Mongolia and recently I have finished a step 1 exam and I have decided to open this channel and share my experiences so this video is actually kind of test video so in this video I will teach you how to memorize inheritance pat patterns of diseases such as you know autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant or an X-link or something stuff like that so uh, please uh, watch my video thank you so through my experience of my step one, recalling if a disease is autosomal dominant or X-linked or autosomal recessive was challenging. I was forgetting them all the time. Then I decided to make my own mnemonics, I think. Mnemonic or visual techniques work the best when they are made based on your life experience or knowledge. They work especially when you make your own uh, memory clothes by yourselves. So this picture that I'm showing you was made to memorize autosomal recessive inheritance pattern. Uh, I, I uh, was googling some pictures and combining into one, so that's the, this is the result of my work. So you may find this mnemonic nonsense uh, because some words may be not familiar to you, because, such as muka. Muka is a word in Russian, uh, has a meaning of flower in English. So I used some words uh, that I, I was familiar with. So, you know, this is just an imagination. You can imagine anything in, in your imagination world. As we know, mnemonic doesn't have to be reality. So in my case, this picture worked for me because I made it by myself. So I encourage you guys to make your own mnemonics by googling this kind of pictures. So let's read this mnemonic together. Red kid Freud spins white nuclear, which means flower, with honey, glycogen, and iron, and using tall cart whale for a sickness. So red kid means recessive poly uh, cystic kidney disease. Freud is Friedrich ataxia. So it spins. This means uh, means mixing. So. Uh, the, the, the disease for this word is single lipidosis. So white, white is for albinism. Uh, Mucia is for, as I said before, mu um, mucopolysaccharidosis. So honey is a very viscous thing. What's the very viscous disease? Oh yeah, that's cystic fibrosis. So glycogen storage diseases and hemochromato uh, hemochromatosis. And tall means thalassemia, cart is cartagener. And will is Wilson's disease. And signet, which is a sickle cell disease. So I put this two apart from this picture because Pabri disease and Hunter's disease are not autosomal recessive. So as again, I encourage you guys to make your own mnemonics. It's very easy, you guys just have to uh, Google some pictures then combine into one picture, right? So good luck and subscribe to my channel. I'm thinking of making more videos. So good luck uh, for your preparation. Thank you guys.